Hey, what's up guys? Today we're getting back to our roots a bit, taking a look at another round of top tweaks that you can install on your jailbroken device if you're running iOS 11 to iOS 11.4 beta 3, either using the Electra jailbreak right here, which I'm still using actually, or using the brand new Uncover jailbreak if you've managed to get that to work. Anyways, more information about that jailbreak is coming very soon. We're going to be doing multiple videos on that tomorrow, so stay tuned. We just wanted to give it a few days to work out all the kinks and bugs the initial users are experiencing. Anyway, in today's video, let's take a look at some of the top newest things that you can install once you're jailbroken. So these are some of the latest tweaks that have come out within the past couple of weeks. We haven't done a tweak video in a while, so I wanted to kind of wrap up everything that has recently come out that caught my attention. All right, well, let's get directly into things. Well, first up, the very first one I wanted to talk about is Snowboard. Now this is a brand new springboard and icon theming tweak. It essentially replaces any need for anemone. You can pretty much select your theme and enable it right here at the top. You have a couple icon options as well to change things like the corner radius and icon scale. But the really awesome part about this tweak is with any icon, if you go into editing mode, and double tap on set icon, you can actually change that single icon to whatever you want. So let's say I don't like this Facebook logo right here. I'm going to double tap and go back to the original logo. Now, another thing you can do is if you double tap, I keep wanting to hold for some reason, you can actually go to all icons and select an entirely new icon that's not Instagram or Facebook. And you can even have access to your camera roll and select a photo from there. But for this one, I'm just going to go with the original uh, Instagram logo right there. Anyways, that one is called Snowboard. It's an awesome tweak. As you guys can see, I'm already taking advantage, taking a couple logos here and replacing them with their originals. All right, so next up, and I know a lot of people are going to enjoy this one, Emoji Port Installer essentially brings all of the iOS 12.1 emojis. There are 70 brand new emojis in this beta software that is coming to iOS when it's released. We well, can get all of these emojis early with Emoji Port Installer. And as you guys can see, all of these icons are present um, down here, and you can select them and send them off to your friends. These are just a couple examples right there. But all of the 70 new icons are now in my emoji library. All right, next up, this one is an awesome one as well. As you guys can see, I have my widgets page right here. I have this page of icons, this page of icons, and so forth. Well, this next week called default page, when you swipe up to go home, you can actually change which page it essentially goes to. So if I'm at the very end and swipe up, it will always return me to this page, even though it's not the one that's far most to the left right here. As you guys can see, my widgets page is right there. But if I swipe up, it actually takes me to the middle page of my icons. And this can all be set up within the settings app essentially just by picking which page you want to be your default one. Now another awesome tweak that's right on the home screen. As you guys know, you can swipe down to access spotlight, but now if you swipe up anywhere on the home screen, it will lock your device. And this one's called home screen swipe lock. So again, just to demonstrate it, anywhere on the home screen doesn't have to be on an icon. You can just swipe up to lock your device. And I really like the animation that they added. That just looks super neat. All right, so this one uh, speaks out to me personally. This one just bugged the hell out of me of why this always happens. So if you summon Surrey for any reason and you, I'm not sure I understand. And you don't need her anymore, essentially like this, she never goes away. But with this tweak called Auto Dismiss Surrey right there, as you guys can see, after Surrey is up on the screen. Yes. And Siri is on. Yes, it is, Siri, but after a couple seconds, I think I have it set till five, Siri automatically goes away and you're taking back to your home screen just like that. So that one again is called Auto Dismiss Siri. I really like that one. It's a nice quality of life tweak right there. All right, and another one within the phone app that I really like is called Custom Call Background. Now this one's a nice one because if I call anyone, I'm just going to call myself right here. And so when I call myself, as you guys can see, the background of the phone application right here is actually the same as my wallpaper. So let me go back into the phone app right here. 
This one really reminds me of something like Translucent Messages, but now it's for the phone app. And again, it just basically brings your wallpaper to the background of the phone app right there. Anyway, that one's called Custom Call Background. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and head into Safari. Now this next week is called Nebula. And as you guys can see, I actually have a dark theme on Safari, but what the dark theme doesn't uh, essentially produce right here is the actual web page. The web page background is white, so it's still being displayed as white. Well, with Nebula, with pretty much any website, you can actually enable a dark mode just by pressing that right there. And now the entire website background is black as well, providing a much nicer dark mode for all websites. Anyway, this is just a quick test post that I have right here. I really like that you can switch between light and dark mode right there. And again, this tweak is called Nebula. All right, I'm sure a bunch of users are going to like this one. The next one that we are going to talk about is called Smart Volume Mixer. So let me just enable this HUD right here and I'll take a screenshot so you guys can see. Basically in the HUD, this allows you to adjust the volume for different reasons. You can change the ringtone volume, the alarm volume, your speaker volume, and your headset volume right here all independently. And that is something that is just really awesome. I don't know why iOS has yet to add this in natively yet. You can do this on Android for a very long time now. And this is just something that I really like. And again, it basically just replaces your volume HUD and you can easily change all of these volumes independently, um, just like that, essentially. Anyway, that one is called Smart Volume Mixer. I really like it. Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, well, one more along the lines of music. Let's go ahead and head into Spotify here for this demonstration. Now, this tweak is called Straw. And when I select a new song just like that, you receive a notification right here of the current song that is now playing. So it's a nice one if you're in the background and you're not in the music app, for example, you can see which song is now playing. But again, to basically toggle it or summon it, whenever the song changes, you get a notification of the current playing song. Anyway, that one is called Straw. All right, for the last week of the day, I really like this one and I figured I would have to add it and I found this before I found Smart Volume Mixer. Well, if you guys don't like that massive HUD that pops up over your screen, another great awesome music HUD is called Ultrasound. Now, this is super minimalistic. It's actually interactive so you can change the volume just by tapping on it or muting it basically at the top just like that. But again, this is an awesome one called Ultrasound. Um, I'm not sure if you can move it around. I think you can within the settings app, just not by touching on it. But again, I really like the look of that right there. Basically replaces the stock volume HUD that's really obtrusive right in the middle of the screen and replaces it with this sleek guy right here. Anyways, that one's called Ultrasound. I hope you guys enjoyed today's top tweaks list of October. Again, let me know down in the comments section which tweak from today's video was your favorite. Again, don't forget to check out this video's description for a full list of today's tweaks with all their sources and repositories and more jailbreak information. Anyway guys, that is today's top tweak list. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you want to see more content just like this, don't forget to subscribe. We will be getting back into covering top tweaks on a regular basis again now that the 2018 iPhone event coverage has died down a bit. Stay tuned as the second half of October is going to be very interesting with the release of the iPhone XR and we could potentially be seeing a new Apple event here soon on the horizon covering new iPads and Macintosh computers. Very lastly, along the lines of the Uncovered Jailbreak that was released yesterday by Pwn to own a former member of the Electro Jailbreak team, it is a second jailbreak released for iOS 11 to 11.4 Beta 3. So unfortunately, 11.4, 11.4.1, and all iOS 12 users are still out of luck, but it is a very interesting jailbreak, and I wanted to take some time on installing it and transitioning over from Electra to it and see really if it is worthwhile before reporting to you guys. Anyway, I will be testing that today, and a video will be pushed tomorrow if you guys are interested in the new news pertaining to the Uncovered Jailbreak. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.